So are you just gonna third? Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> yeah. What well, does? You're just thinking getting in what to the top five? Yeah. It doesn't matter if you're one, two, three, or five. One, one, two, three, four, or five. All get a cube. So doesn't matter what number you are. Did you feel good out there? Yeah. It felt really good. I just tried to keep it very smooth and rhythmic. Um, yeah. Wasn't really the plan to lead, but. That's just what happens when you get into racing, so, but it was good. What well, was your plan? Oh, exactly. <laughs> plan was to sit, it's pretty windy out there, so just wanted to sit and see if I could do as little work as I could, but um, I came off a water jump and I noticed I was a lot of steps ahead, so at that point it was like, well, here we are, and so at that point you just go rhythmic and go off the feel and not push too hard because there's no need, you know? Well, you have a few days now before the next round. Yeah. Um, you know, how do you approach the next couple days? How do you feel about having such a large gap? Yeah, I love it. I mean, um, world's last two years, the Olympics, that's that's the setup. So it's nice. It's good practice for those kinds of things. And, you know, it allows a lot of time to rest. So if you go harder than you would want it to in the prelim, it allows you time. But, yeah, just a lot of rest and recovery. And that's kind of key the next couple days. The Olympic trials, are there extra nerves or you feel good out there? Yeah, I mean, there's always nerves. This opportunity comes once once in four years. And, you know, last time I was the first person out from the team. And, you know, watching your dream run away from you in the last 200 meters, that's, that can leave a feeling in you. But, um, yeah, it's a big thing and it's a big deal and there's nerves. But it's fun. It's exciting. This is something that I get to do and I love it. Was that hard to overcome? Um, not, not really, to be honest. I think that fourth place gave me so much hope and belief in myself. And I think that's something that's super underrated. And, uh, you know, I took that as, that was a stepping stone of, hey, I think I could be good at this thing. So, no, not a bad thing at all. It's been a strong 2024. Is there anything you've done differently in the lead up to these games? Is there anything you've sort of changed in training or, or your general life and routine to, to have the year that you're having at the moment? Yeah, uh, this is probably the, this past year has been probably the most life changing for me, to be honest. Um, personally, there's a lot of barriers that I had to overcome off the track to be able to be on the barriers on the track. Um, but yeah, a lot of strength, you know, indoor we focus on the 5K, ran a good 5K, so a lot of that, but um, a lot of instilling in belief and um, just being grateful for the people that carried me to this line, you know. How much did that indoor 5K be you just kind of held the rest of your season? Yeah, I mean, it was a rust buster after not racing since pre-classic in September. So, yeah, when you come out and you run an A standard and not your event, it's it's really fun. But um, something I'm grateful for that 5K is it was fun. And I did it just for the love of racing and something magical happened. And um, I think to start the year off of starting racing just with the love and the passion of the sport, that that started off the year pretty well for me, I would say. Coming out of the prelims, where is your confidence at going into the finals? Yeah, um, I would say it's good. I think now going to the finals, it's respecting everyone. It's respecting that people are ready to pop off. It's respecting the barriers on the track. It's it's all of it. So just having confidence in just myself and what I have done and in my coach. And I have the best support system in the entire world. And so letting that feel my confidence. Yeah. So you said it's been a your most life-changing year. Is there anything yeah. you're comfortable with sharing that was particularly life-changing? Yeah, um, not a lot, to be honest. There's a lot of personal things going on, but um, yeah, a lot of life changes. But um, like I said, I have the best support system I could have ever had. And um, that that is just, there's beauty in that. And that was something that I got on the line and I was like, I need to do it for the people that love me and support me. And so that's been awesome. Well, your running's been really good this year. Like. Yeah. Are you able to sort of separate the running from the personal or? Yeah, for sure. This is something, um, this is something that I love, you know, like this is hard and this sport is hard, but it's so fun. And I have the opportunity to chase dreams and that, that is just the coolest thing ever. So I love it and I love this sport. So yeah. All right. Good, Good job today. Thank you. Uh, some